Alright guys. I wanted to share with you guys what I started doing to get my deadlift strong. Um, this is an exercise I would do every time before I would deadlift the barbell. Um, for me, it, to me, it warms up the grip. It warms up both sides of your hips. Uh, so when you go to pull through the bar, both legs are fired up to do the job. Like I was speaking about in my other videos, symmetrical movements, everything. And one of the things that I felt helped my deadlift subconsciously, because I didn't really know at the time that this was going to help me, but this caused my, I reached 400 pound deadlift uh, really fast with no straps, no chalk. Um, I just had a good grip strength, not even reversing my grip because of this exercise here. And it's just a single leg RDL. So, flip the clip. One dumbbell. One dumbbell. With the right arm holds it. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. If, if the right arm holds it, the right leg must go back. So, your ultimate goal is to do probably about, I'm going to say five to eight reps and get as heavy as you can going down the dumbbell wall. Usually I would warm up with this before I would go deadlift. I'd do my first heavy lift of the day, but I would do this down the rack as far as I could before I couldn't hold anymore before I would deadlift. And that's what led to my good grip strength and strong low back. So I'm gonna do a couple reps so you can see it. Um, and then I have some more to say. Make sure your palm face is down at all times. Don't put some weird position. Palm should face down. You should be going straight down towards your shoe, okay? Or even straight down on the ground. Okay, find a target. Don't look up. Back to the neck. Um, and the one thing you will notice is one side is easier than the other. That's one of the things you will find out immediately that one, one of your butt cheeks fires a lot better than the other. And that, to me, is what led such a strong deadlift. Like, if I'm working on my weaker side, that led to my strong deadlift. So the side you feel that you don't feel as in control, definitely put more of your brain power on that side during this lift, and you probably won't apply that to your deadlift. Okay? So this is the exercise I would do every day before I would deadlift, which usually twice a week. Um, yeah, like I said, grab a start with light dumbbells, go down the racks, so that's a five to eight reps on each side, okay? Um, I would go as far as 100s when I was doing this, um, but definitely to me is one of the major reasons why my grip strength got so good and my deadlift got so high. Okay, there's still one more tip I have for you that I'll share with you next time. Okay? See you later. So I was talking about down there with um, to develop your deadlift with that movement. Um, a lot of times, again, I feel like the symmetrical push from the ground, like in a leg press, into a deadlift bar is huge. And that's why that single arm movement, developing strength with grip, allows you to warm up into that deadlift. Now, if you struggle with balance, there's nothing wrong with taking a step back and I using weight and build volume just with, by, with your body weight, because you have balance of everything. You can stand still, okay? push the ground, stay on one foot, push the ground, stay on one foot, okay? Get, tap, tap, okay? push the ground. But obviously, the more you stay on one foot, okay? the more you show balance and control on both feet, which is huge when you deadlift, right? If you can't stand on one foot, sorry, no. if you can't stand on one foot, okay? With balance, what, what makes you think you're gonna pull out as much as possible with both feet into a barbell? And that's why that exercise to me led to my success 
in deadlifting. That's how I always thought my deadlifts, leading into my deadlifts, and I just kept getting stronger over time. And that's the other thing too, over time, you gotta put in the work, put in the reps, put in the quality reps, that will eventually lead to a deadlift going higher. So don't forget, start with the basics if you have to, before you do dumbbells, don't just go straight to dumbbells and look broken and funny, because you know, if you, if you always, you look the part if you don't put in the right work, right? So make sure you put in the right work so you don't look like that guy at the gym or that girl. Perfect.